Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Maui Jim Sunglasses. First Tellurium Corp, the future of mining. And Hardy, rods and reels. Good day, folks. Welcome back to On the Bench. Today I'm going to tie for you a version of Brian Chan's Baby Damsel. It's a little variation I came up with. I've been doing really, really well with this year and last year. Uh, this color in particular. Make sure you have these materials handy before you tie the fly. For hook, I'm using a Firehole stick. It's a Firehole 316 size 12. It's their Nymph Emerger. Or you could use a scud hook. The bead I'm using is a 764th gold bead. Feel free to use silver or copper as well. The thread I'm using is just a medium olive color. For the tail and body, I'll be using a Marabou and it's a brown olive color. I also have some other colors that I'll be showing in the video that I've done this fly in. For the rib, I'm using Semperfly. It's iridescent thread in gold. If you have gold wire, use that. I didn't have any gold wire, that's why I used this. It also works really well, it's very strong. I'm thin. And then for the tail flash, I'm using uh, Semper Flash in blue crystal flash. So I've already gone ahead and built a base of thread on, onto my hook and brought it down to the bend. Next, you want to take your marabou plume. And just before I tie this in, I just wanted to mention that I've done this fly in many different colors of marabou. Like anything from a gray olive to a medium olive. I've done bright olive. I've also used brown and tan for this fly. They all work. They all have their various uses. The This uh, one I tied sort of to match the, the early marl in my lake. Um, and also, it, when we were up in... When Dawn and I were fishing up in in Williams Lake last year, the show we did up there, and we were fishing uh, Denny Rickards' uh, Stillwater Bug. It was like a baby, but like a baby damsel, and it didn't have a bead, but it it was about that color. It was like that brown olive sort of color that we did well with. So I've just gone and taken my marabou and I've pulled a little bit off for my tail, probably about I don't know just a portion of the feather. I was saying find the feather didn't really show you that, but just a little portion at the bottom there I've pulled off. And I'm just gonna move my thread forward. And I like to just pull the fluffy stuff out of the marabou. And then snip it off nice and clean. It just makes it a little bit thinner to tie in. You know, get that giant bump. Although I am going just about right up to the hook, just or right up to the eye, just about. Doesn't really matter all that much. Bring it out this way, and then I like to take a couple of good turns under my tail, and then go back over top of it, and that'll keep it from wrapping. And I like to measure it about one and a half lengths to two lengths the body. So I'm just gonna break it off. You can spread it out to do that. I'm just going to break it off with my fingertips. Get it to the length I want. That's about right. Next, take your thread and just move it up about halfway. I'm going to just take my flash and put it around my thread. So I just doubled it in half around my thread and bring it to the top. And then as I come down here, I'm just going to Put one on one side and one on the other side and try to hold on to them. Usually I tie it in a different way. <laughs> but this isn't really working. No, that's not working. Bloopers! Sorry, Dawn. I gotta shorten it. Okay, I'm gonna tie it in on one side first. And then make sure it's on that side. Give it a couple wraps and then bring it around to the other side. And then you can just hold them and make sure they stay in place where you want them. And that's about right. And I just like to snip it just a little bit shorter than the marabou. Take your thread back up. Now I'm just going to fill in the space behind the bead a little bit with my thread. That's good. Now you can take your ribbing material. I do prefer gold wire. I'm using the iridescent gold by 
simper fly because it's nice and thin. Um, I have tried like French tinsel and micro metal and stuff, just a little bit too thick. The only other ribbing material besides wire that I like using on this fly is the micro glint by uh, Semper Fly. This is the medium olive color. and It's the one I prefer. It's got a little bit of yellow in it. And I found the damsels, um, sometimes it helps to have a little bit of yellow in your fly. So I'm just going to attach this. Bring it down the side. move my flash too much and now you can take your marabou plume again and go ahead and pull off maybe about half that amount that I did for the first um, for the tail so you don't want quite that much I would say about this much right here I'm just gonna pull those off flip them around they can be hard to manage. You might want to moisten your fingers just a tiny bit. So I'm just going to take and snip off the ends nice and flush. And now I'm going to tie these in. Bring it right to the back. And then advance your thread forward back to the bead. Now you can just take your marabou and start wrapping it up the hook. So how I like to fish this fly is either with a clear intermediate line, uh, which I've done for years, and a couple of years ago I just got a hover line in that. Uh, there was a damsel show that Dawn did with Kathy Ruddick where she was fishing the hover line and doing really well. So I'll be trying that this year. Thank you very much, Kathy, for that little tip. And also Dawn and I have fished, when we fished in Williams Lake and did that show up there, we were fishing the Stillwater uh, bug under the indicator. And this fly would also work under an indicator. So if you just want to, we were hanging it like five feet down. Did notice like when we, we saw the damsels in the water there and noticed that they were, you know, not very far under the surface. They weren't moving overly fast, but they were definitely wiggling. And this tail is is really great for that it really the one we were using also had a very long tail on it and it just works good so now you can just take your rib and just sort of wiggle it through the marabou trying not to trap too much of it down it gives it lots of movement and this slide is very similar to Brian's Brian Chan's um, BMW if not almost the same which is also a great pattern You can also use different colors of thread like chartreuse, yellow, or orange um, as the collar. Orange in particular has worked very good for me in the past for baby damsels. I have another video up here of a little baby damsel I tie um, out of dubbing and it's almost the same. And that's a really good pattern as well that I caught fish on the other day out at the lake. But this one's been on fire, this particular one. Now you can go ahead and just whip finish. And at this point, if you want to add a little head cement or glue to your thread, you can. I'm not going to for the purpose of the video. I'm just going to double whip it, snip it off. And if you haven't yet, make sure you hit the like, subscribe button so you don't miss any of our videos and it really helps our channel out and lets Dawn know I'm doing a good job. Thank you very much and thanks for joining me on this edition of On the Bench. Take care everyone. As always, conserve the waters and tight lines.